David Clark is from the campaign group Positive Money, and I began by asking David Clark what the supports actually uncovered. If you're someone who depends on cash or likes having the option to use it, this report is a wake-up call. The system that allows us to access and pay with cash is on the brink of collapse. And unless government and regulators intervene, using cash might become impossible within just 15 years. That's a, a, an amazing thought. And why is it on the brink of collapse? I mean, don't all businesses still have cash registers? Right now, there is actually a significant demand for cash. There's actually more cash in circulation than at any point in history. And um, over or, or nearly half of people say that moving to a cashless society would be a problem for them. But the, the, the cash system, the system that allows cash to move around the country, keep cash machines topped up and allow retailers to deposit cash in branches, is under threat. That's partly because banks have a commercial incentive to see cash users reduced. They have to pay. They would have to pay less um, in fees and charges um, towards ca- keeping cash machines open, and they make more money from card transactions. Are, are we going to see? I'm thinking about phone boxes. You know, if you go back, you know, thirty, forty years, phone boxes were a, a fixture in every city, uh, but now they're not. Uh, is is that the fate of the ATM as you see it? There's a risk that the number of cash machines will decline, and that they are declining rapidly at the moment. And that's because banks successfully lobbied for a reduction in the amount that they have to pay towards maintaining the cash machine network. And there's a risk that cash will decline, not because consumers don't want the option to use it, but because it's in the interests of banks and card companies to withdraw funding for the system. So as you, uh, as, as you explain now, people are, are finding an economic incentive to get rid of cash machines uh, and banks are finding an economic incentive to, to, to stop handling cash, really. I mean, is a day coming when you couldn't take your takings to the bank? It, it's it's going to become potentially more difficult for... or we're potentially going to see more retailers stop accepting cash because it's going to become more expensive for them to process it. And that's because, again, it's because banks are going to make it more difficult. By closing branches, businesses will have to go further to deposit cash at the end of the day. Because cash machines are closing, it will be more difficult um, to withdraw cash. And so you can see it's a kind of self, it's a reinforcing circle that banks make it more difficult for us to use cash Therefore, cash uses declines, and then they use that as an excuse to re- reduce cash services even further. And who are the people who are really going to suffer from this? You know, uh, most people listening to this have gone through an exercise trying to get rid of cards in their wallets because they're carrying so many. But uh, I, th- there's a significant part of the population that has no cards. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the report that was out, uh, the access to cash reports, found that Nearly half of people say that moving to a cashless society would be a problem for them. There are particular groups which are more likely to rely on cash, such as people on low incomes. A lot of people find cash is useful for budgeting. Um, you always know how much money you've got, and it's it's very difficult to spend more than you have by accident in the way that you can with a card. So there are these certain disadvantaged groups, older people, uh, people living in rural areas who are really going to be particularly at risk if cash disappears. And and once again, your your forecast is that things are going to be substantially cashless in as little as 15 years. Of course, they're cashless now nearly in places like China. Um, people have gone uh, terrifically over to, uh, to on-the-spot payments with cards. So the, the, the disappearance of cash is by no means inevitable. The thing is, if we want to be able to use cash in 15 years, we're going to have to fight for it now. Uh, that We need a regulator that's prepared to stand up for the banks, make them do something they don't want to do, which is to foot the, pay, foot the bill for allowing people to withdraw cash and for allowing businesses to deposit it. As we've seen with bank branch closures, voluntary arrangements between the regulators and the banks aren't enough to stop communities being cut off. So we really need the government 
to appoint a, a regulator with a specific duty to safeguard access to cash and oversee the whole system.